Okay, we're going to make a capture page real quick. We're going to create a funnel. We're going to name it anything, just for this test. We're going to call it funny. We're going to hit create my funnel. We're going to create funny up here. Funny up here. And we are going to use this template. We'll save page and edit. And then we're going to change the letters up here. What you're going to do up here is just click on this. Okay? And just back it up. Free video. I'm just going to make something up here. Pardon my dog barking. Okay? And then you can do so much here. You can go over here to the main content. Okay? Click on the green thing. Alright. And it shows you different things you can do. We're going to click on the main content. There's the headline. Down here is the sub headline. If you don't want that, see me over here on the left? Just shut it off. My form. Click on it. Click on it. And, uh, You can do whatever you want here. You can add people to this. Let me show you here. Hold on. Oops. Let me bang the wrong button here. Hold on one second. We can go over here. And we can... Sometimes it's stuff this wacky. Okay. Let's try it. Properties. Here we are. Um, here you can change. Yeah, see the form over here? Over here on the left, you can make the let me in. You can change it by just backing up. To right, show me how. Uh, form fields. On the right, you can put your um, email. Of course, you want a name, so you're going to put the name, and you're going to add the field, click up, uh, you can put phone number if you like, so we got name, email, you can put phone number if you want, optional, and let's add that, and then you're going to close it, there they are, okay, now on the footer, you can uh, turn this bottom legal claim off if you want by just clicking on the green. Okay, so take anything away. Now we're going to go back over here to the properties. If you are using a pixel, you put it in the edit code here. Um, if you're not and you're new, don't worry about it. You can type in title, you can type in description, you can type in keywords for SEO. That's search engine optimization. Go back up here to item things. I keep all this stuff alone. I don't bother it. Uh, and then what you would do here is save your changes. And let's go back. I want to show you to make sure you uh, have your integration on. A lot of people miss this. Let's go back to um, the form. Right here up here to the item properties on your right. Make sure you have 
your edit integrations on. For example, I'm going to put MLSP stuff here. I'm going to put MLSP. Now, you don't see this 0 5. So we're going to hit the refresh. Okay. We're going to add. There it is. Okay. It's 1 5 now. And if I want to put my Aweber in, we would do the same thing. I would put like uh, MLSP. Hit the refresh again. Add. There's the two. We would close that. Integration is ready. So you want to save all this and then you want to publish. Okay. Let's preview it. There it is. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, what you do here is you would go in, make sure this verification is on. Start verification. Started my dog. Um, then to test it, you get the URL. URL. Just for this purpose, I'm going to show you real quick. We go over here. Click on this. Okay, watch. Whoops, see, I did do something right. There's your warning. So we're going to go back. Uh, that's running. Publish. Whoops, see, we didn't have it published. I did that on purpose. I want to show you. So now you type in that same URL of yours. It should come up now. There you go. Hope this helps you, and have fun with it.